welcome back my good people and it's good to see you back at this channel and i appreciate what you have been doing as my returning subscribers those who are new those who are coming here for the first time hey hit the notification bell return subscribe turn it on for more videos that i will post now i want to talk to ladies so ladies <laughs> come closer uh, so that uh, we learn uh, medicine at uh, the comfort of your home i want to tell you more about this drug called brufen particularly when you want to become pregnant or you are already pregnant perhaps you are in your first trimester second trimester and third trimester and sometimes you feel pain sometimes you feel your lower abdominal pain or general body pain and you've gone to the shop and uh, you bought this particular drug that you want to use now first of all let's learn what is this brufen thing now brufen is an steroidal anti-inflammatory drug that is called NSAID in abbreviation and it's used to manage pain it's called analgesics in our medical terms and for inflammation anti-inflammatory and to manage fever antipyretics and it's available in trade names that uh, is there are very very many trade names available worldwide uh, popularly known trade names like uh, Midol, Advil and even Motrin. Uh, in Kenya also we have very very many but uh, I want just to introduce to you some like uh, Fenpro uh, it's a trade name this is a ibuprofen uh, coming to a strength of 200 milligrams and we appreciate uh, this company called Inlas Pharma uh, in Nairobi for distributing this also I have an um, ibuflam trade name ibuflam uh, coming to a strength of uh, 200 milligrams and uh, this is how it looks like and our good guys called uh, Biodeal uh, Laboratory uh, Limited are responsive for, uh, for ibuflam uh, these are all uh, brufen and uh, coming very far away from home this is Jessic Edihel Jessic Edihel uh, I like it it's from India and it's coming the strength of 400 milligrams this is very good for adults there's no need of taking two uh, so you normally take 400 milligrams three times uh, a day that is the dose uh, for adult children are also here but uh, we give them syrups so um, when you are managing pain this drug is very very important for pain inflammation and fever and mostly uh, people use brufen uh, when they have headache muscle pain and even fever relief pregnant mothers sometimes can uh, accidentally or mistakenly or unknowingly buy brufen and they take because they feel pain in their lower abdomen sometimes you feel pain in the back and you can go uh, to uh, any chemist and buy this drug this drug is not good for you and we are going to explain scientific evidence behind uh, why you should never never uh, use this particular drug now the mechanism of action of um, brufen is that it works by inhibiting an enzyme called cyclooxygenase and we have the two uh, that is uh, cox1 cyclooxygenase 1 and cox2 now by inhibiting uh, this cox1 and cox2 it reduces the production of prostaglandins that is prostaglandin e2 so uh, prostaglandin e2 uh, is very very important and we want to know why and what is this prostaglandin and why it is very very important in our body so stay tuned and if you have not subscribed to this channel again hit the notification bell written subscribe to turn it on for more videos that we will post and also even drop a comment uh, in this video uh, so that it can uh, make uh, the video lively and uh, we know what you think about this particular video now let's go and uh, see what are these prostaglandins uh, the hormones that we are talking about and how are they important uh, in our body now it's nice to know uh, the functions of prostaglandin so that we may understand uh, this video fully so one thing uh, that uh, prostaglandin do in our body they are key mediators to inflammation you know when there's inflammation uh, we have swelling or we have uh, redness we have pain uh, by sensitizing the uh, nerve endings and increasing the blood flow to the affected area that is one function of the prostaglandin and even fever regulation uh, affecting the hypothalamus leading to fever as a response to pain they are also uh, very nice in a blood clotting and vascular function and also they uh, they normally protect our gastrointestinal tract they protect the mucus lining uh, uh, of the stomach and this prevent us uh, from uh, getting what we call peptic ulcer disease remember 
Brufen is not indicated for those who have ulcers and we will know uh, in a short while. Uh, they are also very, very important for the kidney functions. For the kidney function, it helps to regulate the blood flow to the kidney and maintain its proper function. Those are functions of prostaglandin. Now, uh, in the reproductive system and pregnancy, uh, they may uh, help in the contraction and labor induction and they also responsible for cervical ripening, soft, soft turning of the cervix uh, during childbirth. And uh, there is an important thing uh, that we are going to learn about ductus arteriosus maintenance. It keeps the ductus arteriosus open until birth. And I want you to be keen because this ductus arteriosus, uh, which is remaining open, is very, very important in relation to taking brufen in pregnancy and why you should, uh, why we should avoid taking brufen uh, during pregnancy. And the details of this effect of brufen in pregnancy, we are going to categorize them in trimesters. First trimester, second trimester, and even third trimester. So stay tuned, continue watching. Now, why is brufen now very, very dangerous during pregnancy? The effect of brufen normally differs depends on the trimester. Uh, trimesters, uh, pregnancy is uh, nine months and the trimesters is every three months. So we consider first trimester as from the time you conceive up to 12 weeks, that is first trimester, there's a risk of miscarriage. And uh, scientists, the research have depicted that you have 2.4 times higher risk of miscarriage when you take brufen. Uh, this, because this one interferes with uh, prostaglandin production and uh, we have just mentioned their function. And uh, prostaglandin normally help in implantation of the embryo and it regulates the uterine blood flow and it then ensures the healthy environment for the fetus. So by inhibiting the COX-2 uh, enzyme that we have talked about, it leads to reduced pregnancy uh, levels and uh, the uterine construction and blood flow restriction. This can result in pregnancy loss, miscarriage and even abortion. So we must take care that uh, when you take brufen, that inhibition can cause that. And uh, this also can even result into congenital heart defects and abdominal wall defect. If you take brufen in first trimester, it can lead to a pregnancy loss, abortion, and miscarriage, and even interfering with the development of fetus because of that 2.4 higher risk of miscarriage. Now, what happens in the second trimester? Uh, at this part, there's less risk when you take brufen, but it poses concerns uh, because one major thing is that it reduces amniotic fluid levels affecting the development of fetus. When amniotic fluid has reduced, it results in what we call oligohydramnios, that is now reduction in the fluid, uh, amniotic fluid levels. And this one may pose greater risk to the development of the fetus in terms of causing fetal distress uh, in this fetus that is developing. It can cause a long-term deformities of both the face and the limbs. And the worst thing, again, it can lead to intrauterine growth restriction that when you be uh, uh, giving birth to this particular child now, uh, the child is not up to date in terms of uh, growth and development intrauterine. And it can even compress the uh, umbilical cord intrauterine, causing stillbirths and kidney failure to this particular uh, uh, fetus. So it is not very, very nice to take uh, brufen even in the second trimester. Now, third trimester is a higher risk. In fact, you should not even try to take brufen in your last three months of pregnancy because this can cause premature closure of ductus arteriosus. And we are going to learn about what is this ductus arteriosus, uh, leading to heart and lung problems. Now, ductus arteriosus is one of the shunts uh, that are helping uh, the fetus uh, during intrauterine growth. Remember, we have ductus venosus and we have foramen ovale. Note that during development of the fetus, the lung is normally not fully functional. It's not, it is flu, filled with fluids and it is non-functional uh, in triutrine. Ductus arteriosus or the popularly called ductus botali is a shunt that normally connects the trunk of pulmonary artery uh, to the aorta, allowing the blood to bypass 
the lungs, the non-functional lungs uh, before birth. Remember, the baby in triuterine, the fetus is not using the lungs. So the Dr. Aterota is just a shunt that is using to bypass uh, the lungs. Now, Dr. Aterota should remain open in triuterine due to high levels of this production glanding that we are talking about and it keeps the smooth muscle walls relaxed. Now, why brufen is now contraindicated in this scenario? Brufen uh, inhibits the COX-1 and COX-2. This reduces the production of prostaglandins that we are talking about, which is a crucial for keeping this ductus arteriosus open to allow smooth blood flow. Now, as this level of prostaglandin drops due to you taking brufen, it begins to constrict and close prematurely intrauterine. So it means that there is no proper blood supply in the fetal intrauterine. Now, premature closer forces the blood to enter the lungs now because it is, it's not working, leading to pulmonary hypertension. There will be so much stress to the lung, even to the right uh, side of the heart of the fetus. And this normally uh, bring what we call heart failure and eventually death of the fetus resulting into what we call intrauterine fetal demise. So, my fellow ladies, my fellow men, do not allow your woman to take brufen during pregnancy because sometimes we get miscarriages and we do not know where they are coming from. But number one uh, reason why a woman can miscarry is that when you've taken brufen uh, when she's pregnant and she, do not, she does not know. Let her just take ordinary paracetamol for management of pain. If you feel this video is very nice for you, give it a thumbs up, comment down there, and also watch the drugs that can make your woman get pregnant very fast. And even if she's pregnant, the drug that can maintain that pregnancy. They are appearing up here, or even go back to the description below and watch that video. Let me see you in the next video. Muchas gracias.